Hi, property viewers. I'm your host, Broker M, and today we will be looking into one of the almost ready for occupancy projects of Mega World Corporation. So, Gentry Manor, this is located along New Seaside Drive, West Side City, Paranaque City. Actually, malapit lang ko sa boundary ng Pasay City, but this, this project is already inside Paranaque City. Actually, this is sitting in the 31 hectare township to be developed by Mega World Corporation. And then this is one of the almost ready for occupancy projects and sa mga unfamiliar about the address of the Gentry Manor if you know Okada Manila this is just beside Okada Manila then you have easy access to Naia X kasi pag dinaretso mo yung new new seaside drive it will lead you to the Naia X and then very close to Manila Airport so this project it has four towers it has 18 stories and around 16 units per floor. So imagine that low density, konti lang unit. So you can really feel the exclusivity of the property. If yun yung hanap nyo. Plus the convenience, the location, why? So this is, actually this is really perfect for frequent travelers, casino goers, kasi malapit tayo sa, sa mga casinos like Okada, Solaire, City of Dreams. And then also, if you're looking into investment, this is also good for short-term lease and long-term lease. And if you want more info about that, we can talk about it after you purchase a property. This will be turned over around third to fourth quarter of this year, year 2024. So again, without further ado, I think it's time and I'm really excited to tour you around and show you the executive studio and ex executive one-bedroom unit in Gentry Manor. Let's go! So first, I'll be showing you the executive studio with balcony. So this is the actual deliverable of the unit. For the executive studio with balcony, you can consider this as a one bedroom na kasi we have a partition as you can see dito sa video. And then as for the floor area, the floor area is around 37 square meters minimum up to 41 square meters maximum. So every unit here comes with a balcony. So upon entering from the main room, um, if the pansin yun, naka-smart lock tayo. So upon entering, this will be your shared um, dining area and your living area. If napapansin nyo yung finish natin, these are ceramic, ceramic wood planks. And then as for the floor ceiling height, uh, more or less it's around 2.9 meters, which is the... Standard. And this unit comes with a intercom. So in case if you have deliveries or may kailangan kayong tawagan sa maintenance for minor repair um, or for any concerns sa admin. So um, ito yung gagamitin natin so that you can contact the reception. Then napansin ko nakasoft touch yung mga switches natin ng lights. And comes with a balcony. Oh, oh. sorry. Akala ko nakalak. Actually, the balcony is quite big. So, makikita nyo dito yung view natin. This is really close to Manila Airport. So, through Naia X, dyan, derechong airport na yan. And then, as you can see dito sa front, that's Ayala Mo. On this side, nandyan yung Kingsford Hotel. Uh, the residential project. And hindi lang makita yung Okada. Pero dyan siya sa side na yan. Upon entering the main door, pinakita ko na yung living space natin and dining space. So on my left, this is the kitchen area. This would be your refrigerator um, provision. Then on my left, this is the washing machine provision. And then on this kitchen, you already have this countertop, lots of um, overhead cabinet. Pag mega world talaga na projects or mga nakita ko mega world na condominium, usually uh, meron na talagang kasamang slim na range hood. 
And then, meron ding cooktop. Actually, this is dalawang cooktop to. And then, hindi siya yung the usual na hot plate. So, these are induction cooktop. It's safer kasi kapag iba yung gagamitin mong cooking equipment na hindi siya um, compatible for induction, so hindi siya mag-start. Unlike yung hot plate, pag nakalimutan mo i-switch off and then iniwan mo, so iinit siya nang iinit talaga. So, yan, maganda. And bukod sa location, maganda din talaga kasi, alam mo yun, parang konti lang yung nakatira. Parang in one floor, there are only around 16 units. So, imagine the low density and gusto mo yung medyo yung exclusivity. So, mag-feel mo talaga dito sa project. And moving forward, this is your bedroom. Actually, yun nga, yung tawag nila dito is executive studio with balcony. But I can consider this as a one bedroom na kasi meron na tayong partition, wala lang sliding door. So I suggest once the unit is turned over to you, siguro mag-aad tayo dyan ng barn door or sliding door. So ganun. And then on the right dito pagpasok, you already have this modular wardrobe cabinet. Dito sa bedroom, we also have our own air condition on this side. And then this full glass um window from floor to ceiling. Meron din tayong ditong small window din. So maganda yung airflow pag siguro open lahat ng windows. Hindi siya yung compact na super enclosed talaga yung unit mo na kulog na. So at least sa bedroom pa lang, marami na tayong windows and marami na tayong aring light na pumapasok inside. Kasi maganda yung natural light yung pumapasok sa rooms natin. And then of course, this comes with with a toilet and bath na kasi motion sensor yung light natin dyan sa taas. Dyan, dyan, yung dyan. And then, sige, pasok na lang ako para makita nyo yung fit ng bathroom. So, we have this sink, we have this water closet, or uh, toilet, and then we have you here your shower area. And then, upgraded din siya kasi may backsplash na siya dito which, you know, um, kakaiba siya sa other tiles dito sa side natin. And we don't, when you purchase a property, we don't provide the mechanism. Pero meron na tayong ready na siya. You just need to buy that mechanism, then ipa-install na lang dito. So, yun. Actually, maganda yung bathroom nila. And maganda yung colors na, ng tiles and ng mga materials na ginamit. There's the space is already enough. Everything is functional. You can really maximize the space. Pero ang next na titingnan natin is the executive one bedroom with balcony. So it's bigger than this executive studio. Kung ito is 37 to 41, that would be around 57 square meters. So let's go. forward, the next unit that I'll be showing you is the executive one bedroom with balcony. So the floor area for this unit is around 57 square meters. This is your utility area or this could be your maid's quarter. So utility area because this has a washing machine provision then we have enough spa space para for the yaya or for your maid, for your helper. So usually ang ginagawa ng mga clients ko, naglalagay sila ng double deck then under the double deck is yung parang cabinet. Then, ang maganda dito, meron ng kasamang toilet and bath, yung utility area. So, um, if ever you have visitor, pwede gawin natin tong common toilet and bath. Or, if you have a house helper, pwede ito na yung own CR niya. So, yun yung difference nung bukod sa floor area from the executive, um, ito, meron tayong utility area. And then, um, if you're wondering kung bakit executive studio and one bedroom lang yung pinapakita ko, kasi ito lang yung available na units as of the moment sa inventory. Pero we have 
studio up to two bedroom unit dito sa Gentry Manor. So, okay, moving forward, ito naman is your kitchen area. On my right, this will be your refrigerator provision. And then you have this U-shape na countertop. So the same thing, um, you have this countertop that is made of granite. And then you have your faucet here. You have ample of overhead cabinets and under counter cabinets. Then the same lang siya when, when you purchase a property, meron ng kasamang range hood and your induction cooktop. Yan. Ang maganda lang dito sa kitchen na to for the one bedroom kasi you can turn this um, countertop dito sa front into a breakfast nook or bar. So, depends sa, sa inyo kung paano nyo i-renovate or decorate the unit. Napansin nyo ulit sa video, um, upon entering for this living and dining space, iba yung tiles niya versus the executive studio. Sa executive studio, ceramic wood lang siya, but for the ceramic tiles yung gamit na. For the living area, you have two air condition naman dito na kasama na siya. Then, soft touch switches din yung mga meron dito sa property. So, lahat ng unit comes with that soft touch switches. Then, for the one bedroom, for this unit particularly, we have two balconies. Actually, akala ko kani kanina, connected siya. Pero meron lang tayong dalawang door for the access going to the balcony. Pero, well, separate pala talaga siya. I'll show you kung ano yung view later. And this is your bedroom. So, dito sa bedroom, same na siya yung tiles. Uh, wood planks. Ceramic wood planks. It comes with floor to ceiling, window glass, air condition. Then, you have um, windows here para yung natural light papasok dito sa bedroom. Then, of course, you have your own toilet and bath. Dito sa naman sa bedroom. Oh, nakita nyo yun, motion sensor yung light. And just the same, the same deliverables. You have this sink. You have this water closet, you have this glass partition, dito sa shower, and then comes with a box splash na have. So yun, actually, same lang yung deliverable sila. And then you have enough space. Kung gusto nyo, dalawa tayo nagligo. <laughs> Yo, sorry, medyo maingay lang kasi under construction pa to. Construction, sorry. Um, yan yung pool area natin. So if nakikita nyo, yun nga, may inaayos pa yung other units. Um, marami pang ginagawa pero makita nyo na yung pasad ng property ng um, makita nyo na yung amenity and then yun pala yung sinasabi ko na malapit tayo sa Okada so diba super lapit ever you are not familiar with the with the location kung saan yung Gentry Manor so number one pagbaba nyo ng Naia X or malapit lang siya sa Naia Airport or Manila Airport sorry Naia Airport Airport <laughs> and then beside lang siya ng Okada. For now, that's all for the property tour. So let's head to the common area kung pwede ipakita natin yung mga pool and etc. Okay. So apparently guys, tapos na tayo sa tour natin for the executive studio and the executive one bedroom unit. And apparently, hindi pwede pa makita yung amenity area kasi under construction pa siya. And then again, this property will be ready for turnover around third to fourth quarter this year, 2024. So, at least you have a sneak peek kanina sa pool area. So, for actual viewing and for more details about the project, please don't hesitate to contact me through the contact details provided in the description box below. Again, I'm your host, Broker M, and see you on our next property tour.